there is a machine out there working right now. But we can defeat it as people all over the world wake up in the masses. We can defeat it. We are defeating it. That's why it's fighting so hard. Trying to stay alive. Cannot keep a lid on its secrets anymore. We have leveraged an advantage. We have awakened the world to take notice of the Venus Project. And the Venus Project is emergent. Basic plans have been set, designed. But as a whole world of people, we can build upon it. We can save what's left. We can manage the rest of our lives without the destruction of this one group of people who want to hold on to their power. They are losing power. And as they lose power, we fear that we will not survive. But with the Venus Project's plans, we can. The Venus Project is an organization that proposes a feasible plan of action for social change, one that works towards a peaceful and sustainable global civilization. It outlines an alternative to strive towards where human rights are no longer paper proclamations, but a way of life. When one considers the enormity of the challenges facing society today, we can safely conclude that the time is long overdue for us to re-examine our values and to reflect upon and evaluate some of the underlying issues and assumptions we have as a society. This self-analysis calls into question the very nature of what it means to be human, what it means to be a member of a civilization, and what choices we can make today to ensure a prosperous future for all the world's people. A major difference between a resource-based economy and the monetary system is that a resource-based economy is really concerned with people and their well-being, while the monetary system has become so distorted that the concerns of people are secondary, if they're there at all. What determines if products are turned out is how much money they can bring in. If there's a problem in society that we can't earn money from solving that problem, it won't be done. At present, we are left with very few alternatives. The answers of yesterday are no longer relevant. Either we continue as we have been with our outmoded social customs and habits of thought, in which case our future will be threatened, or we can apply a more appropriate set of values that are relevant to an emergent society. Experience tells us that human behavior can be modified, either toward constructive or destructive activity. This is what the Venus Project is all about directing our technology and resources towards the positive for the maximum benefit of people and planet and seeking out new ways of thinking and living that emphasize and celebrate the vast potential of the human spirit. We have the tools at hand to design and build a future that is worthy of the human potential. A resource-based economy is really not similar to anything else that's been tried before. And with our technology today, we could create abundance that can be used to improve everybody's lifestyle. If we use our technology wisely while maintaining the environment, we could accomplish abundance for everyone all over the world. 
The Venus Project presents a bold new direction for humanity that entails nothing less than the total redesign of our culture. What follows is not an attempt to predict what will be done, only what could be done. The responsibility for our future is in our hands and depends on the decisions that we make today. The greatest resource that is available today is our own ingenuity. Many people today attempt to point out the shortcomings and abuses in our social system, but the Venus Project is offering positive approaches to our social dilemmas. It's an alternative vision of what the future could be if we use the methods of science with human concern to protect the environment and give people all the amenities that clean technology can provide. While social reformers and think tanks formulate strategies that treat only superficial symptoms without touching the basic social operation, the Venus Project approaches these problems somewhat differently. We feel we cannot eliminate these problems within the framework of the present political and monetary establishment. It would take too many years to accomplish any significant change. Most likely, they would be watered down and thinned out to such an extent that the changes would be indistinguishable. The Venus Project advocates an alternative vision for a sustainable new world civilization, unlike any social system that has gone before. Although this description is highly condensed, it is based upon years of study and experimental research by many, many people from many scientific disciplines. The Venus Project proposes a fresh approach, one that is dedicated to human and environmental concerns. It is an attainable vision of a bright and better future, one that is appropriate to the times in which we live, and both practical and feasible for a positive future for all the world's people. In order to accomplish this, the Earth and its resources must be declared as the common heritage of all people, and the artificial boundaries that separate people must give way to a resource-based economy where all goods and services are made available without money, barter, credit, debt, or servitude of any kind. The Venus Project calls for a straightforward approach to the redesign of a culture in which the age-old inadequacies of war, poverty, hunger, debt, environmental degradation, and unnecessary human suffering are viewed not only as avoidable, but totally unacceptable. One of the basic premises of the Venus Project is that we work towards having all of the Earth's resources as the common heritage of all the world's people. Anything less will simply result in the continuation of the same catalog of problems inherent in the present system. Throughout history, change has been slow. Successive groups of incompetent leaders have replaced those that preceded them. But the underlying social and economic problems remain because the basic value systems have gone unaltered. The problems we are faced with today cannot be solved politically or financially because they are highly technical in nature. There may not even be enough money available to pay for the required changes, but there are more than enough resources. This is why the Venus Project advocates the transition from a monetary-based society to the eventual realization of a resource-based global economy. We realized to make the transition from our present culture, which is politically incompetent, scarcity-oriented, and obsolete, to this new, more humane society, will require a quantum leap in both thought and action. If we could build this system, the one that's killing us, then we can build another one. We can build it. It's up to us. Most people today have a fear of automation or artificial intelligence. They feel that it'll make people more like machines than human beings. Actually, this is not the case, because everybody has a refrigerator, hi-fi set, and machines were never a threat to people. Machines not having emotions, they have no ambition. They don't want to run things. They don't want to control people. It's the abuse and misuse of machines that we have to concern ourselves with.